Hey everybody in YouTube, it's five for talking. Hey. Inner on, inner on. It's Caps. He's here with me, some other random guy that's on a thing. Uh, today we're going to be ranking all the Leafs jerseys from hockeybydesign.com. Is that it? Is it a dot com? It's a uh, dot com. That's where I dot got com. all the right. we jerseys, took the jerseys from. from there. Um, we're pretty sure this is all the Leafs jerseys. There might be one or two missing here and there, like a third jersey or something. If you know it, if you recognize one's missing, let us know in the comments. And otherwise, we're just going to jump right into this. Uh, these are all the different designs throughout the years. So hopefully this is all of them. Uh, but like Campos said, if there's anything missing or there's something that we left out, uh, let us know in the comment section. And uh, we'll try and add them into maybe another uh, presentation later on. Um all right, the first one that I'm seeing is uh, this one right here. This is the 1919-20 design, 1921-22 design, 26-27 design, St. Pat's jersey. This is also the 2001-2002 Heritage jersey. What do you think? I'm not even going to lie to you and try to pretend like I don't like it. Uh, it's fucking it's awesome. You really like it. I like it. I, I think I'm going to base it just on based on your opinions. Okay, so I, I, I'll maybe chime in a little bit, but but these, okay, these but are based you, on your opinions. If you think I, if I put a jersey in awesome, and you think it's like why, I need you to say it because then it's got to go in so so. <laughs> okay, boss. All right. Because <laughs> I, need I don't want you. if, if you're so. Where'd you far, get that from? If you're so far, if your opinion is so far skewed off from that, then I need you to say it. Like, wait, what do you think of this jersey? Um, I think it's, I think based on the fact that it's one of the first jerseys that ever came out, I mean, I don't think at that time they were worried too much about design. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Fine. I'll do so, so uh, put it in. So, so you want it. So, so let's I do so, so. All right, cool. Um, okay. So that's one down. The next one is this one. Uh, 19, 20, 21, 25, 26, St. Pat's jersey. That's I'm going to go with more likewise. like a sweater. <laughs> um, it's not even because it's bad, but it, there's nothing there. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I know it's a, a tie, a thing of its era, but like, it, there's yeah. nothing there. Yeah. Um, so that's one, that's two down. Okay. Next one is this one, 1917, 18 arenas jerseys. So this would have been their first one. Mm, I'm gonna okay. I'm I'm gonna say like why again. Same reason. There's nothing there, and it's just a T. It's not even like arenas. Like yeah. you, your your team name is arenas, where you put a T. So yeah, just based off the time, I guess. Um, next one. This is, I, I have a feeling that we're probably gonna disagree on this, but um, 1927 to 1934 home and away jerseys. And the 2014 Winter Classic jersey. I so the Winter jersey, Classic is based on that. Yes. So uh, the white design is based on the 27 to 34. And obviously the, the Lupul jersey <laughs> is based off the 2014 Winter Classic jersey. This is based on that leaf design, I believe. Well, based on the fact that Lupul's on the jersey alone, it, is there a spot above awesome? Okay, so we are going to agree. Because of Lupo only. Uh, I'm, I am, I'm, okay. I'm going to put it awesome. For the and Winter Classic I, jersey, I will say awesome. For the other one, I'm so-so, but I'll accept this. Yeah, it's all one design, I believe. It's all uh, based on one Leaf design. I'm going to put it awesome because I believe that this is probably one of the best Leaf symbols, Leaf logos. Uh, I believe that if they could do something with this logo, and I really wish they would have used that logo for the retro jersey, um, to and I believe that they could have done something really, really special with it. And, and I honestly believe, and I'm going to say, I said it once before, but I'll say it again, with the retro jersey, they could have utilized uh, every different leaf symbol throughout the years and used that either, either as their belt or, um, or they could have put it like down their sleeve. Yeah, I'll accept that. Vertically, vertically. So honestly... This is, in my opinion, one of the best Leaf symbols. And I really wish they could have done something with it. 
So we agree. Awesome. I, I'll I, take I, it. Yeah. Um, okay, next one. Uh, t -t 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 -t. This is the 1970 to 1992 home and away jerseys. 1970 to 1992. Uh, I really like the layout of the jersey. I don't like I know that leaf symbol is the one that stayed for like 30 years after. Um, but in comparison to the other logos, I don't like it as much. Um, I could put, I would put it in so, so it's definitely not a like why. Okay. I mean, just from currently looking at this, I'm noticing there is no 1967 leaf Jersey. So we're going to leave that one in the comments. I'm going to write that one myself. No, I, I believe it's there somewhere. Okay, we'll, I, I'll, we'll, we'll get to it. I believe it's the bottom left. It's the bottom left. Um, all right. This is 1922 to 25 St. Pat's jersey. Oh, uh, that's awesome. I, I let one Pat's jersey get away. I'm not letting two get away. Okay. Um, 1927 jersey. Like why? It's so plain, right? And again, yeah. I get it. It's a time thing of the era. I yeah. fully understand that. Kind of looks like a training jersey in today's world. It looks right. like a sweater that some guy would wear. That's awesome. I'm not even yeah. going to get into that. This is the 2018 Stadium Series jersey. I, I have this jersey. I, I, I think it's one of the best. Jerseys there ever. I really wish it was like a regular jersey. Um, 2017 Centennial Classic jersey. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I prefer the blue over the white. But I really wish those were like their, their home and away yeah, jerseys. Yeah, I agree. I 100% like, you know what I mean? agree. Like, I really wish that they would use those. Okay. Um, 20, uh, 1918-1919 Arenas jersey. 2017 next Century game jersey. This is where we disagree because I think that's awesome. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll settle for awesome. I, I mean, yeah. All right. I knew you weren't going to like that as much. Um. Okay, so this is the 2007 to 2010 home and away jersey. These are possibly my least favorite Leaf jerseys ever. Yeah, I'm going to go with you on this one. Uh, I was not a fan when they came out with these jerseys. I thought they were like training jerseys, uh, practice jerseys. I, I, I didn't understand why there wasn't some sort of line at the bottom of the waist area. Like, I, I didn't get it. I don't know why. I don't know what the deal was those, those years. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, they're so plain. Like they're so plain. Um. All right, 1958 to 1967 home and away jerseys, 2000 to 2007, uh, 2008 to 2011 third jerseys. Let's be honest. You already know what to do with that. You tell me. No, you tell me. Uh, make it make it official for the viewers. It's awesome. Okay. It's that those that just the logo, like the the white one. Okay, and you know me, I'm a blue. I'm always a dark jersey guy. I never choose a white jersey. Yeah, the white you one made there, that apparent. The layout <laughs> of the white jersey there is amazing. Okay, all right. So that, that those were the '67 jerseys, by the way. Those yeah. were the yeah. No, they weren't. Well, I, I mean, it's a reiteration of it. Like, I mean, they're not specific. This is the, the only ones I can find. The logo, the low. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. The logo on the '67 jersey is the one that we used on uh, the throwbacks that we had a couple of years ago. All right, 1967 to 1970 home and away jerseys. Sorry, yeah. 2011 to 2016 <laughs> third yeah, jerseys. There, I My apologies. Okay. I, I I'll make a I, I made a mistake. Sorry. That's okay. No, you said the right thing when you called it the first time. I'll um, expand it a little bit so that people that's can my see favorite leaf. Is that your favorite one? Like the actual logo on it is my favorite. Um, the layout is very similar to the previous one. It's a little yep. more boxed. Mm -hmm. I I think it's awesome. I mean, and it means a lot. I think it represents the last Stanley Cup, and 
I think that's special. I will put it as uh, awesome just for the fact that it is uh, special and, and it means the last time that they won a Stanley Cup. Unfortunately for the actual leaf, the actual design, it seems pretty plain. It's what led to the it's what led to the seventies one, to the modern logo that we knew in the nineties. It came from that. I agree, but I think that logo looks way better than the 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 nineties logo. Yeah, I know some of the jerseys are like not uh, same size, but hopefully you guys are able to. Hopefully you guys are able to see a little bit of it. I'll expand a couple here and there. All right, the next one is a twenty sixteen to present home and away jerseys. I really like them. I would say awesome. I'll let you decide. Um, I'm going to say awesome too. Um, but uh, at some point, when when do you change? When do you change it? When do you? I mean, it's it, it seems as though they. I mean. This is the freshest yeah. look we've had. Like, if you yeah. look from night, if we can see it right now on the screen from 1971 until all the way until the, these jerseys that you're holding right now were the same exact jersey, like basically. Yeah. All so, right. Yeah, a team that needs a change, let me just throw this out there that whose jerseys have not changed one little bit is the Chicago, I mean, uh, Detroit Red Wings. Their jerseys have been the same since, like, their very first jerseys. You're absolutely right. Has Montreal changed a lot? or, or Montreal, they... I think they just vary, like, little variations, but they're almost yeah. the same. Same with uh, New York. It's it's close. New York had, like, random third jerseys and stuff. All right, the last one. I'm going to uh... say so-so, in my opinion, but you give them the information. Yeah, 1934 to 1958, 1992 to 2007, uh, 2010 to 2016, home and away jerseys. These are the Doug Gilmore, Wendell Clark, <laughs> Dion Phaneuf years, I guess. Uh, okay, look, uh, iconic as they are in my memory, they're just really plain jerseys. And I couldn't put them, there's no way I could put them in like why but I don't think they belong in with those other wicked looking jerseys and awesome. Yeah. I'm going to go with you on this. I think it belongs in the so-so uh, as you know, when Clark is my favorite player ever uh, and he donned his Jersey uh, during the more popular uh, leaf years. But at the same time, that logo, that, that leaf logo is just plain. I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same as uh, the one next to it, uh, which is the Jersey that they had before they, they, uh, on those jerseys okay so um, so yeah but, i have but yeah uh um i mean uh when dion Phaneuf uh, uh was captain captaining those the, the this leaf team uh and they came out of the uh the training jersey which is at the bottom uh it's a hell of a an improvement it's an improvement from from that jersey but at the same time it's still it's still pretty plain yeah so, yeah Okay, so uh, I have a question for you before we close this out because as you guys can see, we've closed our ranks. Um, I want you to pull out your best, not which one you think looks the best, which one is your, if you could only wear one Leaf jersey for the rest of your life, and which one would you never wear? Pull pull out both of those from the thing and, and show us, and then I'll do the same thing. All right, so... Uh, you weren't asking me specifically, were you? No, I was asking the fans <laughs> to uh, drag it out of your yeah. PowerPoint. Which uh, jerseys do you have? Okay, so I'll tell you mine. Um, I would take, for the worst one, 100, 100, 100, 100 percent, it would be the training jerseys at the bottom. Uh, can you pull those out for us and put it a little bit to the right? So that would be my worst. And my best is probably the blue with the white stripe across the middle, the winter classic one or centennial. I would say that's probably the coolest. Yeah. yeah. I would say that's probably the coolest. Yeah. Um, I love this jersey. The uh, 2018 uh, 
a stadium jersey. And uh, I, I just really like that leaf design. Um, you know what? I'm just... sure that leaf, sorry, I cut you off. I'm sure that exact like symbol was never the same on any two jerseys. Like they definitely like yeah. cut that out by hand and were like, get some glue. See, we're going to patch it on the jersey. And they put the yeah, right on there. Yeah. <laughs> it would be hard to. Uh, I mean, that makes it kind of cool. It's like a little leaf, right? Yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, I kind of agree with you. The uh, jerseys that they're wearing now is, is much better than a lot of the uh, uh, jerseys that they had in the past. Uh, but I mean, at some point, they, they're going to have to change it up a little bit. They're going to have to uh, uh, come up with a new design because, it, as you can see, um, it's pretty consistent uh, throughout the years of, you know, it's blue and white. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, with the uh, St. Pat's, you got a little bit of green in there. But um, hopefully when... Uh, they do another round of retro jerseys. Uh, they change it up a little bit and they do something a little different. And, I think, uh, yeah. I think, okay, as a Leaf fan, I already know that they're probably not going to change it for like 10 years. Um, because hockey, unlike other sports like <clears throat> basketball, uh, like baseball and hockey are pretty similar. Football and, and basketball literally get new jerseys every single year. <laughs> like, yeah. it's pretty crazy how, how often they change it. Um I think if they do change it, I would like to see them do um, – I'm pointing at it like you can see. <laughs> I would like to see them do one of the two jerseys on the right at the top with the 97 on it, the, either that one – no, this one or the one next to it, like the layout. The layout. I don't care if the logo is the same as the new one, but I think <coughs> a new style of stripes would add to, to the jersey, maybe the shoulder piece, right? Yeah, but at the same time, it wouldn't be – so uh, wrong if they just do something different, like just be a little more ambitious, you know, uh, try and change it up a little bit. I mean, uh, the retro jersey, Montreal had uh, blue, I believe, uh, on their jersey and in, in, uh, in, in an area that they don't normally have it. Um, so I'm not 100%, I, I but think I, it's, I think they sorry. used to have that. Did I they? think in like in like the, one of their early iterations, like way back, they had a blue jersey. Okay. I don't know for sure. Don't don't quote yeah. me, obviously, but but at the same time, I really wish that the those stadium jerseys and centennial jerseys were their present jerseys if, right if now. They could have they could have done some real good things with it. If you home and away those, I would not be upset. No, I, I mean they. Went favorably with with the fans. They they were they were really really. Uh... Oh yeah, I, I think the white ones are really cool looking, but like I just don't like white jerseys, uh, realistically. But no, I but think at the same the time, combo... if you could do something really cool with it, if you yeah. could do something really cool with it, I think they they they'd be pretty cool. I mean, I don't normally white doesn't go over really well, but if you could do something really cool with it and be different, then you know I I'd mean, like why to not? see uh, personally. I'd like to see a little bit of like a light gray thrown in. Like, you you see the 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 blue version of the Centennial. I think that is if you put a like gray lines on that, like mm -hmm. above the blue and like in between the blue and the white parts. I think it would look cool. Well, the retro jersey had a little bit of gray in it, but I didn't. It just didn't look. Yeah, right. I don't it like the, it's the the, the fact that just... you you took the jersey from sixty seven or the logo from sixty seven and you smashed it oversized. Like it's a really big logo on like a random jersey, and it the blue is off. I don't want. I don't like the light blue. I don't know. It's not my thing. That's yeah. all I have. Do you have anything else here? Um, no. I'm I'm pretty much done with that. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, let us know if we missed any. Let us know your favorite jersey in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching.